we'll just run through the um, sort of my sustainability model and what we'd like to talk about first. Uh, as I said previously, capital spending is up 150% since 2011, 37% over the past two years, um, and now same store sales are the lowest in five, five years. That, in my mind, that should suggest that they should slow growth, not accelerating growth. And again, as you'll see in a few minutes, the models for KC all have accelerating growth. Um, and now to prop up growth, the company has announced a new $300 million share purchase program. So the piece of it, they do have a good balance sheet. They have strong cash flow. I get that. But um, I'm going to say that they are misallocating capital in the sense that um, they're really propping up or trying to prop up the uh, you know the stock, if you will, and or the earnings by uh, a new share of purchase program. Um, and this is unique for them in the sense not that they haven't bought back stock in the past, but the company has not seen a share count decline since 2Q11. Um, again, which tells you, you know, why are they buying or ask the question, why are they buying back stock now? And then um, the, one of the metrics that we look at from a company, especially a growth company like Casey's, is the, the proportion of the company's earnings yielding cash. So net cash flow from operations over net income, and that is negative for the last three quarters. Um, and now, because of the share of purchase and, the, and borrowing to grow, um, total debt to EBITDA is, uh, the highest rate since 2014. And where is that going to go from here? The profitability is going down. Uh, and then more importantly, which is brings it all together, uh, given the rate of growth and the margin pressure, the return on incremental investment capital, which I think is probably the most important statistic for a lot of companies like this, peaked at 34.2% in 2Q16 is now as a, a, down, a negative 179 And something has to change. They can't continue to show these kind of numbers without. 